Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's your host with the most. It's your boy Damana down at Hip Hop Chef. And I'm in the house today. We in a brand new surrounding, brand new kitchen. We got brand new flavor. We finna bring it to you live from Memphis, Tennessee, Mid-South. Now today, what we gonna cook is... Collard greens. I'm gonna show you how to make collard greens. Alright? Now on this side, we have collard greens that's already cut up. Already pretty much cut up. And on this side, I got the collard green that you buy from the store that's not cut up. I put the, with the stalks on it. So I'm going to show you how to cut these down. And how to prepare it. And how to get it ready to make. Now come on over here to the stove, right? Get to a pot. I don't eat pork. Most people put ham hock inside their collard greens. I don't eat pork. So we're going to put smoked turkey wings inside. Okay? I'm going to show you how to do that in one second. First thing you want to do is get some water. Put some water in this bowl. We're going to bring it up about halfway. And this is for the smoked turkey. Now we're going to put the smoked turkey inside here. We're going to set it on the stove. We're going to bring it to a boil. Right? We're going to bring it to a boil. And we want the smoked turkey to to boil for about two hours. So you start this first before you even do the green. Do this first, right? Put the fire on. Smoke turkey wing. Just pretty much drop it in there. You don't have to flavor it, season it, do nothing because it's smoked turkey. It's already got smoke flavor. So we pretty much drop it in here. Let this boil for about two hours. And the whole two hours while you're doing that, you can be doing all kind of other stuff. So what we're going to do is wash and clean these greens. Because you have to wash and clean them, right? So put the water in. Put the sink stopper on the bottom so the water doesn't run out. And we're pretty much just rubbing your fingers through them and scrubbing all the dirt off of them. Now these do happen to be turnip greens, but you do the turnip greens the same way you do the collard greens or the mustard greens. They're all the same, pretty much. You're going to take this knife, pretty much, and you're just going to shave down. So you cut it all the way out of there, you feel me? Like no sticks, no seeds, you know how, you, well, we don't get into that. But you pretty much break it away from the stick, okay? That's just pretty much all you're doing. If I had to compare this to anything, I would compare it to my younger days when we used to break down, you know, we used to break down weeds. Pretty much you're just breaking it off of there, just getting it out of there, and throwing these sticks in the garbage. You can do it with your finger, you can do it with a knife, however you choose to do it, whatever's easier for you. Alright? And once you get this, you pretty much want to cut it to a manageable size. Cut it, fold it over, flip it, do whatever you want to do to make it to a smaller size. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Now we got smaller portions. Alright? And you do that with all of them. Are y'all ready? Okay, check this out. You just pretty much wash these greens, just rinsing your fingers through it, rubbing it real good. You feel me? Pretty much washing it, rubbing it through your fingers, cleaning up a little bit. And we want to do this about maybe four or five times. You really have to really wash these greens. You feel me? So now I'm gonna take the sink stopper out, let the water drain. And we're gonna do it again. For about four or five times. And while you're doing that, pretty much this is gonna be boiling. You don't really have to worry about it. It's gonna boil. You don't have to put nothing in there. It's gonna, in about two hours, come check it. In the meantime, while you're washing, you could be actually dancing. Two hours, right? You know, it's, the meat is almost falling off the bone. It's getting very soft. 
So now it's time to put in the greens, you feel me? So take a little bowl, come over here. Pretty much just gonna place them in there. I'm just gonna put, put them in there, right? Push them down. Move them around, push them in there. Alright. And I get the rest of them. Pretty much just push them down in the water so they can cook. You know, we don't want nothing sitting on top. We want everything to be submerged. Okay. Take this and roll this on top of it. Alright, come on. Slow down. Breather. So you can hit with the heater. Now, once we got the rest of it, so I'll put this in here. Push it down a little bit. And then, uh, you know, put the top back on. Bring it back to a boil. Leave the, uh, leave the heat temperature at the same. We're not going to change nothing until from that line. But now this thing, we're going to let this boil for about another two hours. So, we, some people like they collard greens a little gummy. But if you got to chew on it and chew on it, that's not what we want. We want to be able to put it in our mouth. It just pretty much just, it just dissolves in your mouth. That kind of green. That's what we like on the Chicago West Side. But we're going to let this cook about two hours and you'll be back. All right. It's about halfway through. This is what it's looking like. It's uh, steam coming out. You see it's boiling a little bit. You know. I'm just going to move it around a little bit. But it's looking it's right on course. The schedule is coming out right. It's about an hour in. I say we've got about another hour left. And we should be good. Alright, All right, here go the moment of truth right now. The moment down your voice. Check it out. Now we got the greens. It's been about two hours in. And uh, I'm going to let you take a look at this here. Now you see, this bone is naked. The meat just fell off the bone. That's how you really know it's done. Okay? And one thing, one key thing to making this greens never let your water evaporate. Never let your water evaporate. If you see the water get low, get more water, put it in there. You, the water is the flavor, the water is the juice, is all that you need there. You need that. Alright, so this right here is pretty much done. Let me show you how it looks. I'm going to take it out put it on a spoon. Look, I mean. See how that look? Real soggy like. Good. I'm going to prove to you that this is real food. Now what we usually do is uh, put a little bit of hot sauce right on top of it and eat it. Perfect with the hot sauce. It tastes so good with the hot sauce. Mm. Yes, sir. What's up? What's up? It's time to now from the mid south, Memphis, Tennessee. It's your boy, the Mono Dyer, the host with the most, and I'll see y'all next time on the Hip Hop Chef Show. Sure. Today is brought to you by The Fatal Four. One of the hottest rap groups out of the Midwest area. Been doing it for so long. Four artists talking about life forever. You can see him at the fatal4.com. That's T H E F A T A L 4.com. What's up?